Hey you! You know what it is? What the fuck? Come here, stay Hey you! You know what this is? This is a shulker rig from the 1.9 update. Oh yeah! Check it out, snapshot. So yeah, you have a chance to win this actually. So this is a shulker rig if you didn't notice yet. And yeah, I'm gonna give some away. Not to everybody because like it's boring to just give a download link so I'm just gonna do a little giveaway so you can win 20 of those like 10 on Twitter and 10 here on uh, my YouTube channel so you can retweet um, the tweet in the description or you might notice it on um, Twitter so yeah if you retweet those I will pick a random retweeter on um, Twitter and also a random commander. So yeah, hope you enjoy this and the giveaway will start if I hit like 200 retweets on Twitter maybe and <coughs> hundred likes on this video. If we can make that. I hope we will <laughs> because you guys are awesome so yeah let's just do a little review of the shulker rig I guess so it looks quite awesome if I might say like wow I improved so much in a trigging and yeah let's just go to the features from the user data so in here you have some enable and disable parts so I'm just gonna do the slider at here so you can see the face and now you have some controllers which you can enable or disable if you want the cleaner workflow so yeah that's possible if you just want a flat face in here or you can also just enable the controllers so that's just up to you and um, you might know what this does like just change the color the inner eye the eye color and the inner mount like the mount color you know <laughs> Yeah, you probably know how to work with this. And I also added like some texture changers, like the hue color or something. So yeah, you can adjust your um, texture actually, the color, if you want an other color. And it's just the same for the heads. If you want like a looking shulker like this, <laughs> this kind of looks like a worm. I don't know why. So yeah, let's just do everything to default. And you're also able to um, change to um, ena uh, enable smooth edges or disable it. Like now it's just the Minecrafty feel and now you have smooth edges. So that's up to you, like what you like the most, right? And yeah, then under here, there's a subdivision part. Yeah, you can actually the subdivision so none is just no subdivisions and what I mean with subdivisions is like the polygons are actually in the object so if I change this to low it will add a little bit more of polygons and this will actually adjust the lag because if you add this on high like it will be more lag if you can see but it's much smoother and it will render out in high but you don't have to worry about that because render is like always some minutes or seconds, you know. And I mostly recommend to use low for um, just in editor work. So yeah. And also I that's like an info thing in here. Doesn't affect render and low is like less lag. So just an info, right? And now let's just go to the little features of the rig, I guess. So first at the top of the rig, there is like a movement thing in here so you can bend or rot you can also rotate actually yeah maybe some of the settings of like in here you know what it is i forget the name <laughs> uh, but yeah you can rotate this like just every normal rig <laughs> not really uh, i just don't know what to say but yeah just 
can play around, you know, you know what it does, I guess. And you can also reset PSR, so you have it back. And there, under here there's a slider, you can change the up or down, you know, yeah, <laughs> shulker rig. Watch some um, 1.9 fits, if you don't know what a shulker rig is, because it's, it's a quite awesome new mod. And yeah, let's just go for the panels right here. And yeah, also I forget to mention, this is to select everything and the rig, just, just move it. And yeah, the left control panel. It's actually the right now, fuck, but in the um, shulker position it's left, but for us it's right, <laughs> never mind, so yeah, there is slider in here, you can, like, this is, anim this is an animation that the shulker rig makes a few um, FE attacks, so yeah, also added like an animation thing, so just for looking, this is also an animation thing that's shulker does in the game so i added those two and maybe an important slider in there here is to go for the heads if you just want to control the heads or something and then go back to the shield of the shulker rig so yeah there's a big thing in here <laughs> if you might want to know what it is it's just to kind of move the shields yeah and you can, can reset PSR, it's for everything. And under here there's like a cool cross. And it's actually to um, enable or the, disable the spark. It's the, the thing that the shulker shoots of, um, yeah, the attacks. Like you have a elevation, like a effect from this. <laughs> and yeah, you can shoot this actually. I added some particle effects, let's just. Yeah, yeah, you have a selector under here, so all like um, the user data is in the cross in here, so you can enable or disable it here, and you can enable the particles. So yeah, let's just make a little animation thing here. So at 20 frames, I'm just gonna move this like here, and then I'm gonna enable the particles under here. So there's a starting, and what, what this will means is the strength of the particles actually, like like the one is no particles, so let's just add a keyframe here, and let's go to 20, 20, and drag this all up. So what that will do is it will, yeah, strength some of the emitters. And here will the particles come from. So there are actually three emitters because at the, um, the shulker there is like a weird particle effects. So it's go from big like to the smaller ones. And yeah, I couldn't quite make that. So I had it my own kind of particle thing. So if you click on play, I forget to um, add a keyframe. <laughs> so yeah play so this is actually a kind of particle it makes if you see so yeah that's quite awesome it also follows with the camera kind of so this is actually a wrong thing the cross this is like the adjustment of the particles so for the start from the shooter if it shoots the spark because otherwise it will just go through the body and we don't want that right and yeah click play and it will shoot it off and yeah you can just play around to this you know sparky <laughs> so yeah let's just go kind of back so we don't have all of this we all right so yes, then we have some other sliders at here and the blue ones are also quite cool if I can show you. The first blue one is for the head, so if you drag this up here and you click on play, the head will actually like levitate up or down, if you see, so it's actually a floating head in the shulker 
if you didn't know so you can kind of like yeah you know just for little animation things and then there's the same for the top of the shields if i drag this back so you know if you drag this up and you enable this the top will also like move up and down see so that's quite nice features and then there are some other sliders here so this is just the eye depth you see and yeah you can adjust, adjust it and this is like the eye scale so that's also a really cool feature and here there is like the inner eye brow I actually don't know what it is in the rig but I call it an inner eyebrow <laughs> yeah it's with the eye and yeah just for the other eye and then there's another slider in here and this is for the top like uni brown kind of thing you know so let's just go back again so everything's normal yes so that was the left panel sure yeah kind of so yeah let's just go to the right panel or the left panel for us you know and this is mostly for the head so I gonna drag this slider up here so the first thing is just to move like everything of the head not the mount though but like all of the eyes and the brows you know you see and then there this is mostly for the eyes so just to move the eyes a little bit. Yeah. And this is like the derpy thing, you know. And I, I forgot to mention like this is the um, slider that also can be rotated. So yeah, rotate the E in the brows. You know, and mostly if it's as the item can be rotated, it will give an info bar under here. So you are able to rotate this item. So this is also a one for the other under eyebrow. You see? So yeah. You might want to check the user data. So sometimes you will be able to rotate the object. Not with this one though, but this one is also able to. It's for the mount expression. But we, we were at the eyes, right? So the eyes you're not able to rotate it but this derp thing not able to rotate it I guess yeah it's it's able to but it, it wouldn't do anything so I might want to remove that um, yeah this is for the like the blink kind of thing and you can also like let it go up if you want bigger eyes you know mm yeah let's just reset the psrs of those things so we mentioned this and yeah then there's also like a purple one here so this is for the unibrow at the top and then there's also one here and this is for the inner eyebrows so it's just for the kind of expressions you know you see so if you go up and down it's kinda you see what it does and if you go like the XS it's kinda goes <laughs> if you can see on screen. I don't know how to explain because I speak monkey ball for English but you probably can see what it does. So yeah there's some sliders here, it's for the eyelid expression. You see? And there's another one here, also for expression. So now he's hang angry, and now he's sad. So yeah, play around to this. And all of those parts is for the mount. So I added a little mount. There is a smaller one and a bigger one in here. So the smaller one 
<coughs> sorry for that and the smaller one is for the position see and i might want to uh, set this back to this um, yeah it's for the position and the bigger one is mostly for yeah you know to move the mount like open or cloud close it you know and you're also able to um, control like the head movement you know like the chin goes down if you see in here and yeah you're able to rotate this so it says the info and what it does it's actually give it like a little expression you see and you're also able to rotate smaller one if you see in there here so let's just reset all of the PSRs in there here and then you see there's also some sliders and yeah the sides of the mounts and you can also move this sideways it's kind of for the left like mount for us right for the left side but for him it's right <laughs> um, so yeah you know to let him smile angry and you can select those boats and now you can let me make him smile sad smile sad <laughs> so yeah you can also move this sideways if you kind of see you're not able to rotate this but <laughs> you know that's kind of the rig i guess so if you want to win those yeah retweet like comment and yeah there's also some face um selectors you see so this is for the head and at the top there is also a selector to move like the bend kind of thing you know and you can rotate it yay oh shit <laughs> all right I have to pick that, but never mind, let it be. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's also some face controllers in here. So this is just, you know, play around to this. It's for the unibrow, all of the controllers. You see, <laughs> and yeah, there's also the inner unibrowns this is for expression kind of thing and then under that little star it's just to move the inner brow and then some face controllers for the mount and there's a controller at the top kind of move this to see and also under here and then there's another triangle yeah <laughs> this is supposed to be the mount expression but never mind I will fix that and if you might use this it will have a mount expression <laughs> so this was the selector for oh yeah yeah it's it's disabled that's why enable this guys and then move this yay all right so yeah that's kind of it for the rig i guess you probably know what this controller will do i think i mentioned everything you are also able to um, move the control panels if you see and that's kind of I guess if you have some more questions about the rig just ask in the comments down below and I will help you out and yeah like win this rig <laughs> win it just do it <laughs> all right guys see you later hope you enjoyed this video and